Hello lads and lassies and welcome back to my channel, it's I, Mr. Mayhem. Today we'll be ranking the Creed and Rocky films. Now, the Rocky Drago director's cut isn't here but I'll rank that when we get to it. Um, like I said, this is, I don't know what part this will be of my tier list series. Uh, I'm recording this at the end of March so this might, this will probably go on for a couple of months but I have just got finished watching, by just got, I mean at the start of the month I started watching the Rocky films again and I'll explain it in the video but you know the drill. If you enjoy this, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, let's just let's just get into it because um, I actually, I have a lot to say here. So, um, Creed three came out in what was it? Creed three came out on March third, and me and Calm have been absolutely stoked for it. Uh, Creed and Creed two. So we saw Creed together in the cinema. We saw Creed two as well, and we saw Creed three obviously together as well. Um, the the Creed films mean a lot to us um, and uh, around about that time a week before the 4k knockout collection for Rocky came out that doesn't include 5 or 6 but that's besides the point and I wasn't going to get it originally but I did end up picking it up and uh, we're going to go through them now so Rocky Rocky. I don't know why these are all I'm just going to do them in order so Rocky now controversial opinion here I don't really enjoy the first Rocky. I think it goes on for a bit too long. Uh, the fight doesn't last very long. Uh, there's some... St Polly. I don't know how anyone can like Polly. He's a genuine scum of the earth piece of shit. He's not charming. He's abusive, manipulative arsehole. Um, and I just... I don't really enjoy them. I don't really enjoy Rocky 1. Uh, I get it that it was the thing that started the franchise. But to me, there's not enough entertainment value in there for me. And I'm not all about entertainment value in terms of, you know, fights and everything, but it's just very slow and I just don't enjoy it. Like, if you love it, that's awesome. I'm not saying it's a bad film. It just doesn't do much for me. So it's probably a, a C. Uh, and then we have Rocky 2, which I actually really, really enjoy. Um, I think it's a big step up from the first one for me. Uh, I do like the, how he wins in the second one. I know the whole thing is like, oh yeah, you know, he he went the distance with Apollo, which is awesome. But Rocky Two uh, is just it's it's cool seeing him trying to grasp onto all the the fame and all the brand deals and all this shit. You know, like he's spending, 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 spending. And he has no idea concept of money really. It's just it's it's really entertaining, and the fight is awesome as well. And I also like how it goes into the fact that um, Rocky is fucked up and that. They don't want him to fight because he could go blind, but um, he has to. And he tries getting, he tries going to get other work. He tries doing all this, and then he and then he gets laid off again. And then he's like, "Look, fighting's the only thing I can do. I need to fight here." And it's it's really, really, really awesome. Um, and the end fight, I think, is absolutely fantastic. Uh, when they both get knocked down, it, oh, it's it's brilliant. Uh, also, I love that when he wins the fight, he's just like, yo, Adrian, I did it. It's just this... <sighs> gets me in the feels, honestly. It's it's fantastic. So, yeah, a de a de a definitely a high A tier. Uh, Rocky 3, I really enjoyed this as well. Uh, this is going in the A tier as well. Uh, Rocky 3 is... It, it starts out ridiculous with, obviously, Hulk Hogan or Thunder Lips, which is... Uh, it's incredible. Um, and it's this thing of, like, you're genuinely, like, Rocky could die here. I mean, he's not gonna, but he gets destroyed, and he does eventually beat him, but, yeah, it's just such an, it's such, just such an entertaining film, and, oh, uh, yeah, and when Mick dies, it's really upsetting, but the highlight, the highlight of this film for me is when, Ro is when Apollo trains Rocky. That is some wholesome ass shit right there. I love that. It is incredible. Uh, yeah, definitely A tier with Rocky 2. It's just absolutely fantastic. I love it. Um, yeah. And then we have Rocky 4, which is mm, A tier as well. Um, I'm going to lump that in there. And uh, I would say that the director's cut is an S tier. But I just don't have the thing. I don't know how to edit it to do that. So, but. Rocky IV is absolutely ridiculous, but it's also quite heartfelt in terms of he's like he he gives up the belt just to just to get revenge for Apollo, and it's it's 
it's good shit. It's good shit, and the fight is awesome. Like the sound effects for Rocky, like for Rocky when there's punches being thrown, they're so satisfying. And yeah, I mean, Polly's sex robot is weird, but you know, that's cut out in the director's cut, which is so much better, by the way. Um, if you haven't seen it, do see it if you can. It's fantastic. So yeah, I would say that Rocky Four theatrical is an A, uh, director is an S. Uh, Rocky Five is a D. Uh, Rocky Five. I enjoy the end fight. I know it's quite cheesy, but I enjoy it. I think that Tommy Morrison, Tommy Gunn in the film, does a really good job for his first and only acting role. I think he's really, really good in it. Um, but apart from that, I just find this film insufferably boring and frustrating. Um, I love the concept of Rocky training up a nobody to to the champion of the world, but this just doesn't do it for me. Uh, and then we have Baboa, which is S. Like ba- Baboa is <coughs> Baboa is incredible. I think that Baboa tops every Rocky film, um, just in terms of heart. It is it is incredible. Like I know it really doesn't make much sense, but for this character, it's it does make a lot of sense to see him go the distance with with Mason. Um, and I just think the relationships in that film are so wholesome. Like with lo- like with. Marie, I believe her name is, and his son is just, oh, it's fantastic, honestly. Um, Polly's not too annoying. He's, a, he's still a fucking massive dickhead, but he's not too annoying. I I do enjoy it. So I think that Bubble is just S all the way through. Um, fantastic. Now, uh, I'm just going to make this easy. It's uh, it's about right, really. Um, yeah, 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 probably that. Yeah, <clears throat> I think all the Creed films are S's. Um, this is the thing of I feel like I feel like Rocky was was a generational thing. At least to me, it was where I didn't really enjoy it much, but I know that everyone that did see it at the time loves it. But to me, Creed does what Rocky couldn't for me, uh, and it's it's just oh. Absolutely fantastic. All three of them are brilliant. Uh, I'll start with Creed 1. So Creed 1 is just insanely good. Like, there's so many good moments. Like, the walkout one shot, the um, the 360 degree camera shot where um, Conlon's got Creed up against the ropes and he's dodging. Oh, it's it's fantastic. Uh, and the fact that he was... Um, Conlon won the fight but Creed won the night. Just... And then at the end, when he's like, you're the future of this division, well done. It's just, oh, just a feels, bro. That's something that gets me is, like, mutual respect for, like, each other, where you're like, holy fuck, you good. Um, but, yeah, no, absolutely fantastic. So S tier, definitely. And then Creed 2. Creed 2 was the one where I was like, ooh, I don't know. But this is one of the, this is like, if you were to ask me what sequel I thought was just, like, so surprisingly good, Creed 2. Uh... Because it handles the Rocky Drago stuff so well. How Creed has this inherent, like, I have to fight him. It's what they want to see, but also just for my dad. It's just, oh, it's incredible. And um, the workout the uh, workout mantras is just so, so good. And how Drago comes to his senses. He's like, this is my son. And he throws in the towel before he can, not die before, but, well, maybe, but before he gets any more hurt it's just oh and by the end how they're like running side by side and it's like they're smite oh brilliant bring on a fucking Drago spinoff please like, that's the one thing I know Stallone doesn't want it but I actually do quite like that idea just don't drag it out and then Creed 3 <laughs> uh, Callum's seen Creed 3 eight times in the cinema so far and I've seen it uh, it'll be my fifth time on Friday just absolutely incredible uh, saw it, saw it in IMAX on the day it came out with Callum. Then I I've seen it four times since. I've seen it three times with Callum, and uh, once with my girlfriend. Oh, I love that film so much. The the <laughs> me and him quote that film so much, just like as a piss take. And it, it it yeah, but it's still good. And we recreated part of the trailer just as a joke, honestly. That film is just it, it. It is so so good. I know. I do have one issue with it though. Is that it? 
it takes its time, but then right after, like, the second half of it feels like it just picks up the speed and just goes for it a bit too fast, and yeah, it's a bit iffy. The workout montage is great. Not my favourite of the trilogy, but still great. Um, the soundtrack slaps. Uh, I'm not really normally into rap and EDM, stuff like that, but I actually really did enjoy this. Uh, and yeah, it's just brilliant, and it's a really, really fitting end to his character, because the last shot of the film is like Adonis walking away from the ropes, and the camera's still in the in the ring, so it's kind of this him saying goodbye, at least that's how I see it, but yeah, it's just absolutely brilliant, so they're all S tier, um, but yeah, that has been my ranking of the Rocky films, let me know what your favourite Rocky film is, what your least favourite film is, let me know what you thought of Creed 3, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, as always, if you do enjoy this, remember to like, drop a comment, subscribe for more, you can support me on Patreon, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, links in the description. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.